A journey of a thousand miles is started with one step, gradual. Anyone training to be an Olympic record-breaking runner must first learn to crawl, walk, then run, gradual. Most of us, when learning to ride a bike, first started with training wheels. Live streamers are no different. We need systems, platforms, and methodical processes that give us room to grow our skills gradually. Slow and steady wins the race. EV Mux in one platform caters to both the basic and advanced. And with their latest feature, Studio Mode. Oh, tell me more. They're bridging the gap yet again. Excellent. If dynamic scenes are your comfort zone, imagine being able to preview those changes you're making before they are visible to your live audience. Game changer, right? Kirk Nugent here for EV Mux, your live streaming sweet spot. And in this video, let's take a look at Studio Mode, AKA EV Mux Pro Scenes for Beginners. So here we are in the EV Mux studio and I've got my second computer in. I've even have a shared screen in the system as well, just for us to kind of play around with some different looks and feels for our scene. Uh, my camera is on screen right now, but I want to draw your attention to a new option that you'll see right here at the top. It's called studio mode right at the uh, top of your program window. You'll see this option this toggle switch for studio mode. And I'm gonna turn that on and you can turn it on in your studio as well. And as soon as I do that, you can see that it splits the screen into two and allows me to see an editor and a live preview. Editor and a live preview. And so we have the editor here, we have the live preview. And if I make a change in the editor, you know, as, as the title denotes, uh, then that change will not happen until I've clicked transition right here in the middle to the live. Uh, so I'm going to add this second camera to the screen and change that orientation. Maybe let's make it make it uh, even. And so now we have those in the editor. I can do all kinds of things in the editor. Maybe I added the wrong person. Maybe I need to have this share screen in here. Maybe I want picture in picture. And now I've got it set up the way that I want it. I can hit transition and that becomes live. And you can see how that animates on screen and allows people to see that only when you as the host or producer are ready. This is not in the pro scenes fam. I wanna be clear, we're still in the dynamic scene. All we've done is turned on studio mode. Uh, again, I may need to add in this other guest and then we'll both be on screen with the shared screen. I can simply click transition and away we go. What happens if I wanna do an overlay? Let's see, I'll have my, my, my logo that I wanna put up on screen real quick. It does not go into the live immediately. It is in the editor and then I can simply click transition. I can take that over live preview. That is what your audience sees. You can do all kinds of things in this screen over here, which is your editor. And that be is, is completely transparent to your audience while you are streaming. But every time you click transition, that takes what you have in the editor and makes it live again. So we have that there as well. Just a quick note, studio mode and the ability to transition works for logos, works for overlays, works for video clips, even works for background images, but it does not work with music, does not work, does not affect, I should say, music, comments, or banners. And I'll show that to you in just a second. Here, I'm gonna put up a background behind myself, the share screen. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna change this thing around a little bit. We're gonna move these to where we have them all evenly distributed on screen and then we'll hit transition. You can see that that pushes over. Let's move that to a different one and we can hit transition again, take off the background. You notice the background is still on the live preview and I can hit transition yet again. And so you have the ability to make those changes while you're going live and not have to have them being seen. One of the questions I often get is, how do I use bumper videos? Well, bumper videos are great. Even in dynamic scenes without studio mode on, you can use a bumper to change things while things are happening on screen. But with studio mode, it makes it even that much easier in that Let's say I have a bumper for my speaker and I want the speaker to be alone on screen. I can remove 
myself, remove the share screen. My speaker is now on screen by themselves along with a background and I can simply play this video. Here's a little bumper video. That video I will transition to live. Once I transition that to live, it will go play in the live show. But when it's done, it will pick up the changes that I made in the live editor. And you'll see that happen right now. And so we went from having two people on screen along with a share screen to just having the, 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 the speaker that's in the studio on screen by themselves. Awesome, awesome, powerful effects that you can use with studio mode for your live streams in EVMUX. I've often been quoted as splitting up streaming platforms into tiers. Tier one, phone, tier two, web-based, tier three, locally installed. And for a long time, each platform fit neatly into these categories. Since EVMUX entered the playing field, they immediately disrupted my nice, neat, OCD-approved labels, and they've done it in the best way possible. They are the go-to for anyone wanting to start with the basics of streaming and then slowly, gradually, methodically, and incrementally take their skills and production to the next level. Studio Mode is the latest feature in the pursuit of helping us all gradually level up. Level up! Let me know in the comments what you think. Learn more EVMUX functions and features from these videos.